What is TinyTask and how do you use it? This video is going to be my complete guide on the usage of TinyTask and basically what TinyTask is, it's an auto macro. What does that mean for TinyTask? Well, bare bones, what it really means is that TinyTask is a keylogger. <laughs> What did you say now? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a non-malicious keylogger, so there's no reason to be afraid. But basically, what it does is that when you hit the record button, it will log all of your inputs, your left click, your jump, your alt tabs, you know, everything you press on your computer. It will record it. And when you end the recording, you can play that back to the exact detail. Tiny Task will replay it. That's basically everything you really need to know about Tiny Task. You can just record whatever you want whatever movement you want in whatever game, and then you can just play it back. Let's go on to the settings. Uh, you basically know what Tiny Task is, but to optimize your Tiny Task usage, there's a bunch of settings here. Uh, let's go through them one by one. Playback speed is how fast you want to play back. You can increase the amount of clicks you can do per second. So you can click like 100 times, and then you can make that playback speed 100 times faster. So playback speed can be very useful for clicking or other things if you want. But down here, we have something called continuous playback. Now, if you you are doing something overnight like an afk farm you're gonna always want to have this on just always double check to make sure continuous playback is on basically uh, it'll just keep on playing back your tiny task recording without any extra inputs now on to set playback loops now this is if you don't want continuous playbacks so you can actually set a certain amount of loops that you want your tiny task to do let's say for instance you only want your tiny task to run for an hour and your tiny task is 10 minutes long per right you can just set playback loop 10 right you don't you only want tiny task to do it 10 times basically but on to recording hockey and playback hockey recording hockey uh, you can always hit record physically right uh, but i always recommend people using f8 in fact this is one of my do do's what some games f8 may do something but in roblox is very very useful because it doesn't actually do anything in Roblox. F12 will record a video in Roblox, so that's a no-no. Uh, print screen will take a screenshot every single time your tiny task replays, so that's a no-no, because that will clutter up your spaces. And Control Shift Altar is just unreliable on the recording hockey. Uh, so I'd say never use any of these besides F8. F8 is the go-to. These are one of my do-do's. Uh, anyways, playback hotkey. I always use print screen. You can use Control Shift Alt P. This one's completely fine. You can't use F8 if you have F8 as recording hotkey and F12. Well, you know, in Roblox, it records a video, but if you're not using in Roblox, you can use F12. But I, I use print screen or occasionally control shift alt P. Now let's move on to the last important settings. Always on top. This will be unchecked by default. Basically what always on top means is that it'll always keep tiny task above whatever game, whatever thing you have on your screen. It'll always keep the task bar on top. If you remove it, and you uncheck mark always on top, well, it'll get minimized. Okay, now we talked about one of the do-do's F8 as a recording hotkey. Now let's talk about the don't don'ts. This is, this is actually getting a little weird. Anyways, one of the don't don'ts that you should not do while using Tiny Task is scroll wheeling. You cannot use scroll wheeling while using Tiny Task. If you try, uh, it actually will just do nothing. As you can tell, no scroll wheels. It won't even input in an, a thing in there, right? So, come on, stop it. Good tiny task. The other don't don't is first person. So basically what tiny task does with the mouse is that it records the mouse's movements in relation to the position it is on the screen. And what the, but what this means for first person is that when your mouse is stuck in the center, tiny task will try relentlessly to put that mouse onto that area of the screen, but it can't. Uh, so. It still tries though, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but anyways, those are basically the two don't don'ts. Just scroll wheeling and first person or holding down right click or moving, you know. But uh, that's basically it for this video. It's very cutthroat, very, very simple. Tiny task is not complicated at all. If by any means you guys have any questions whatsoever, ask down in the comment sections. Uh, I'll, I'll heart all the comments that have good questions and I can answer them properly. So in case someone is just you know, doing a quick drive by down in the comment section, they'll see my hearted message. They'll read that comment and maybe that comment will answer their question, right? So I just want to make it more visible for you guys to find. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped and maybe I'll see you guys in the future. Bye bye.
I think I'm in love, say it way too often I can't play these games, think I'm switching up the offense See me in LA, I be moving cautious I can feel no pain, rolling up, I'm so exhausted I be so exhausted, whoa